Hello, how are y'all? It is late. What is today? Tuesday. <laughs> late Tuesday evening. I'm just leaving Mother's. God love her. She just told me some stuff that was just completely, completely, completely crazy. I just have to grin and bear it. Just go on. It's kind of heartbreaking, but I said, Mama, you've always known that. She said, no, I didn't. Oh, man. Dementia is hard. And, of course, it's 6.15, so this is a difficult time of the evening for them, too. It's called uh, sundowners and their memory and all is worse in the evenings. So, I tried to get her to go to the cemetery all weekend. I asked her four different times, twice Saturday and twice Sunday, because I thought well, she'll she'll be feeling better or she'll feel different about it and she'll want to go. She never did. She told Jessica Monday morning that she wished that I had taken her to the cemetery. She wanted to see daddy's flowers and she don't know why I didn't take her. <laughs> <laughs> tried to get her to go all weekend and she wouldn't go but anyway uh i'm leaving here going to walmart i gotta pick up a few things and i took her a um, strawberry shake i went and got me a grilled chicken sandwich i had not eaten <clears throat> anything significant all day and i was just i've been busy washing clothes and john and i's 25th anniversary is coming up and we're hoping next week to go off for a few days so um Anyway, um, I gotta run by Walmart and get a few things, but, oh, car, get over. Ashley's always said that little hill back there was a good hill to have a wreck on. That's what she used to say when she was little. <laughs> um, I wanted to come on here. I told you that I would get back with you um, about Sue and Ashley when I had more information. And Sue is supposed to hear um, toward the end of the, this week um, about the arrangements uh, for her mother. I think her brother was supposed to get there. He's like four hours away from her and he was supposed to get there today. And obviously um, it's gonna take a little longer than what we do here in the States. But anyway, I said, I asked, I told her that several of you commented, a couple of you sent messages to me and said, if, if anybody's going to do anything to help Sue and Ashley, we would like to give. And so I asked her about it and I asked her, cause I know the trip to England is going to be terribly expensive and it is, it's going to be over $1,100 each. And I know they don't have that kind of money either. And so, so I asked Sue if it'd be okay if I did a GoFundMe and she just said, oh, no, 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 no. I, I can't, I can't ask people to help me with that. And I said, well, I understand that. I said, but I've had a couple people, actually several of you said in the comments and several wrote me and said, if you're gonna do anything, we'd like to help. And so, I'm just going to give a monetary, uh, we're not going to do a GoFundMe. Um, she just said no at first, and then I talked back with her the next day, and I said, Sue, people have actually requested to do something for you. So she said, well, Suzanne, that is so thoughtful. And she said, I just, you know, I, I, I that's hard for me. And I said, well, how about if we don't do a GoFundMe, and we just put your Venmo or my Venmo, or both, and and then give my address if anybody wants to send a check. And she said, well, if people really wanna give, that's fine, but they certainly don't have to. So all I'm doing is bringing to y'all, I'm gonna, down below, a lot, I realize a lot of you probably don't Venmo. I love Venmo, it's so easy. But I'm gonna put Sue's Venmo, I'm gonna put my Venmo, and then also my P.O. Box, if any of you would like to send a monetary uh, gift. And anything that is sent to me on my Ven... I mean, if you Venmo, you could just Venmo her. But if you, because you know me better, want to just send it to me, then I told her what I would do is I would collect it 
and send it to her. And she hesitantly agreed, but I said, so when people ask and people want to help you, and this is not like you asking, oh, little kitty, come on, little kitty in the Walmart parking lot, little calico too, I love calicos. I said, Sue, this is not you asking for anything. This is people asking if there's any way they can bless you. And she was, she just cried. And so that's what I'm telling you. I'm gonna list below my Venmo, her Venmo, and then my PO box if you would like to send a check. And I, anything that is sent to me, I will forward on to her. I will gather it together and send it to her. You're not obligated to do it by no means, but I'm only doing this because several of you said we want to help her. I mean, look guys, if it's $10, if it's $20, if it's $100, whatever they're given is going to help them and going to be a blessing. So, you do what you want to do. This is not a request or to make you feel bad or anything. And it will be totally private to give what that is between you and her. Excuse me, getting the trash. That will be between you and her or me. And of course, I won't discuss anything and you're under no obligation to do it. And and like I said, she was so hesitant. But y'all, this is a difficult time. And I appreciate, I've tried to answer every one of your comments. Um, I appreciate the prayers, the, the kind words. And I told her, it's hard for her to read everything. I said, but there's gonna come a time that you, you're gonna wanna go and that's gonna give you strength. And I think she's already read some of them. So the prayers are the most important thing. And then if you want to give in any way, please feel free to do so. And if you don't, and you don't have it to give, or you don't um, want to give, you're under no obligation. It's, it's just a matter of what you choose and what you want. So I'm gonna run into Walmart. I'll be back in a few minutes.